All right, Shalom. I'm going to start out by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and where I learn this truth. All right, I'm going to give a um a quick vision that I had uh, a couple of nights ago. All right, it was a dream that I had, okay? And um, it's been on my mind, but I I didn't bring it out the, that particular night that it happened to me, or well, that morning, because it happened to me at night and I woke up that morning. I didn't bring it out that day because a couple of other of the Acumen had visions as well that night, you know what I'm saying, in two videos, and um, two videos that I can remember distinctly that went up were from uh, from two brothers, you know, and they was giving accounts on what, what they saw in their vision, all right? So I just wanted to hold off a bit before I, you know what I'm saying, went into mine. I didn't want to just, you know, I wanted to make sure that we all, you know, say I say get this, say what we seen, and you know what I'm saying. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's it doesn't overload anybody or you know, however that goes. But the spirit wasn't on me to do it then, and it's on me to do it now. So I'm gonna do it now. All right. But in this dream, okay. All right. I went to sleep. All right. And I fell asleep. You know what I'm saying. Fairly regularly. It wasn't nothing just out of the normal, I just went to sleep, all right, all right, and then, um, in the midst of me sleeping, I woke up, and I could tell when I woke up that I wasn't in exactly this flesh that we in down here on this earth, I could tell I was, it was different, because I didn't, I could just tell it was something different, okay, so when I woke up, as I'm in the dream, I woke up in, in the dream, okay, I wake up, and I'm in the dream, and I could just immediately sense and feel that I'm high up in the air. I automatically knew that I'm high up. I could just feel like I felt like I was floating, like I was just, you know what I'm saying, in the wind, so to speak, all right? And as I'm looking around, I see a bunch of clouds, all right? Not chariots, but I actually see clouds, all right? And I see a bunch of them. They're like everywhere. They're like puffy clouds, okay? So this is how I know that I'm up in the sky. I know I'm up, all right? So as I'm looking at these clouds, you know what I'm saying? I'm just looking around. There's like clouds everywhere. You know, so as I'm looking around, I, I eventually go from looking up because it's like I was laying on my back, but I was looking up. So it's like I turned my body or I shifted. However I was, I shifted to where I was looking in a downward position. All right. And in the midst of looking downward, I'm seeing clouds that are beneath me. All right. So as I'm looking down, I see the clouds literally like split open, like they literally like split open. All right, and when the clouds split open, it left a vision, all right? And I'm looking directly down to the earth. This is another reason I knew I was high up, because I'm looking straight down to the earth, all right? And all I can see as I'm looking down, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's real orange, all right? It's real smoky, dusty, all right? But it's really, really orangey looking, all right? And it's pit fires, everywhere all right it's just pit fires here pit fires there it's just different fires that are that are that are just in, di in different places but everything is a consumed in fire but everything is that i can see is just you can tell it's in a mist of a fire but the fire hasn't consumed it all at this at this point in time yet the fire hadn't just took it all over yet all right so as i'm looking down and i'm seeing this okay i look over to my right all right, from looking down, I look, I just like turn my head to the side, to the right, and I look, and I don't see what it's coming out of or what's pushing it down, but all I can see, like from the heavens up in the clouds, all I can see is as you see this waterfall right here on this screen, right here, all I could see was that water that you see right there on this screen. It wasn't water. It was like, it was like lava. It was orange, and it was like, Man, it was so fucking hot, like it was just pure liquid heat. All right, that's that's what I, that's the best way I can explain it. But it was like a waterfall. There was so much of it, and it was gushing out of the heavens. All right, and and where I'm at, I'm looking at it. It's falling from the skies, from the heavens down to the earth. All right, and as it's falling down from the heavens to the earth, down to these places that I'm looking at, it's like as it hits the earth. It like creates like a like a smooth flow. You know what I'm saying? Like if you've seen movies like uh Volcano, alright, and 
All right, so like yeah, but um, as I was saying, it was creating like a smooth, like um, man, it's hard to explain, but it's like when the when the when the lava hit, it didn't hit the earth and make the earth just like blow up. All right, and in, in, in the place that it was that it was burning, it's like when the lava hit it, it's like the lava flow through it like it was cleansing it you know what i'm saying like it was just flowing through like a river you know what i'm saying it was just flowing through flowing through and it was consuming all of those pit fires and everything that was spread out and it was just like the lava would would flow to where the pit flame was all right and then the pit flame would be consumed by the lava and it would just expand expand all right and i'm looking at this i'm literally looking at at how much of it is pouring out of the heavens and you know what i'm saying it was fucking terrifying to me you know what i'm saying i i'm just looking at this in, in my mind i'm just thinking like what the fuck is happening like I, it's like i was looking at a body of water like a fucking so like it for my language you know what i'm saying but it's like i was looking at like a big bulk of water that wasn't water but it was hot lava flow from the heavens down to you know what i'm saying what i perceived to be america all right because you know what i'm saying the way it was landing and the way it was flowing and making rivers you know what i'm saying and rivers were turning into oceans and it was just man it was just a consuming fire all right the same way the scriptures say all right when when your whole boss tells you he uh to those wicked jakes uh, as silver is, is, is gathered in the furnace in the midst of uh, the same way I will gather you in my fury and I will melt you. All right. If you got hit with the, with, with where your how about me, I was shot was pouring from the heavens. If that shit was to touch you, it's going to melt you. All right. And it's not going to be one of them, them, them melts. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, this, this shit that I seen, I ain't never seen nothing this hot. All right. I ain't never seen nothing this hot. And I couldn't feel the steam on it. I couldn't see the smoke on it when it's coming out of the heavens. But I could just tell it was pure heat, all right? And it was liquefied, all right? As if your how about I was shy, you know what I'm saying, took the sun, all right, and took a piece of the sun and made it into, you know what I'm saying, some water and poured that down here that's what it looked like was literally flowing from the heavens all right it was flowing in in man in, in, in unmeasurable amounts all right it was just flowing from the heavens all right and it was just coming down here man it was it was something to see man like i say the whole before it even hit the earth it was already pit fires and you know what i'm saying everything looked orange and you know what i'm saying all burnt up it looked it looked it hot already all right it looked at like um, you know what I'm saying, like uh, in them, in them doomsday movies and shit. You'll see how radiation heats up the the atmosphere, so to speak. All right, it was like that. It was like a, a nuclear missile had hit already. Well, you know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna. Well, I'm, this is what I saw. It was like maybe a, a maybe if it wasn't a nuke, it was an atomic bomb. But if something hit already to to suck up the the oxygen in the air, because like I say. All I could see was fucking smoke and orangey looking shit and pit fires. All right, so clearly something had hit before, but what came after that was something completely different. All right, and if anybody, you know what I'm saying, if you on the earth when this takes place, well, I ain't gonna say the earth. If you in America, because America is prophesied to be utterly burned up and destroyed. If you are on the shores of America when this takes place, what I seen in this vision. All right, it's gonna be a bad day for you. All right, and I'm talking some shit you you ain't never seen nothing like this, man. Like, yeah, how about some out of scripture tell you he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, that's Amos three and seven. Surely the Most High Yahweh will do nothing but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right, so and the prophets were also known as as uh, seers. All right, so. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Bashem Yahushua shows things to 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 the prophets. All right, Ezra saw visions to the point where he woke up. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Woe is me! Woe is me! Who gonna deliver me in them days?" All right, because the destruction that's coming to this fucking place is gonna be so epic. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures tell you our deliverance is gonna be 
so magnificent that we're no longer going to speak about the deliverance from Egypt. So if our deliverance is going to be that, you know what I'm saying, magnificent, Abu Rathazai, Yahweh Bashim Abishai, I'm of that number. But those who are of that number, if your deliver, if the deliverance is going to be that great and that spectacular, that means the plagues, all right, and the pestilence and the and the overall destruction is going to have to be on an on a on an unmeasurable scale as well. All right, the times that we're going to come into are the worst times known to man. All right, the scripture tell you uh, it shall be, um, and I'm openly paraphrasing. They say um, it shall be a time. Since as as it has never been, okay, Jacob's trouble. But the scriptures also tell you the Lord is gonna be the confidence of Jacob, meaning the elect, and he's gonna save them out of it. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? This is not my first time having a dream or a vision to where, you know what I'm saying, I was getting beamed up. I've had multiple visions, all right, about, you know what I'm saying, different accounts to where stuff was taking place, all right, and Yahweh Bashim Shai called me up. All right, and I didn't get judged the way, you know what I'm saying, a lot of our people are going to be judged, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? I had that dream. It's probably been about four or five days or so, but it's still vivid, all right? And when I had the dream, I made sure when I woke up, you know what I'm saying, I wrote it down e immediately, all right? I wrote down exactly what happened that I could remember, all right? And, and we all know when we had these visions and these dreams, all right, it's not like, you know, um, you're going to remember every intricate detail to the point where you can explain it all right but you know what i'm saying we can explain it to the best of our ability that yahweh smell shot wants us to explain it all right so to sum it all up pretty much you know what i'm saying i basically saw you know what i'm saying lava flow from the heavens and come down to the earth and burn this place up all right we know the icbms are gonna burn this place up because the scripture tell you um uh, my sword shall be bathed in heaven and come down upon the people of my curse to judgment, the Idumians. All right, that's Isaiah 34 and 5, as well as verse 6. All right, so it said the Lord's sword is going to be bathed in heaven, meaning them ICBMs are going to come up. They're going to come out of their silos, go up into the heavens, and then they're going to come down from the heavens. All right, but it's certain nuclear missiles and certain nuclear bombs that can be shot up into the heavens and blow up while they're there, and then, you know what I'm saying, the destruction comes down with them. All right, and the scriptures also tell you that Yahweh Shem is going to put, you know what I'm saying, their spirit in those missiles. Ain't now one going to miss. Ain't now one going to run into each other. They're going to all hit their marks. All right, so that dream could have easily been Yahweh Shem you know what I'm saying, have one of them nuclear missiles because Yahweh Shem is going to come back with the chariots. All right, you can, a chariot could have could have stopped one of them missiles in the air, turned it upside down. And just let the heat flow out of it or just whatever. However it could have happened. You know what I'm saying? It's various ways. We don't put our power in a box because, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's no way to put your how about some y'all shine a box, all right? And all I know is I seen fucking lava flowing from the heavens down to the earth, burning shit up, all right? And you know what I'm saying? That was the vision I had. And you know what I'm saying? Just, just wanted to bring that out, you know? And so like, yeah, you know, it's early in the morning. I talk a little rough. You know, I, I use, you know, I use language. All right. That's probably not, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't care to hear for, but hey, I'm me. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is be me, though I be rude in speech, not in knowledge. All right. So I brought this out. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh It was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who teach and where I learn this truth. All right, we in the end. All right, y'all about some outside. It's gonna come deliver the rest. It's gonna come deliver the elect and burn up the rest. All right. So you know what I'm saying I'm gonna say uh, Shalom and the Bible ball. Shalom.